Hey guys, welcome back to the backlog. We're here with something that I've been waiting for for, well, for a really long time, but at this point, I've been waiting on this, like, you know, actively, actively waiting, whatever that means, uh, for about two years now. We're finally here with Operation Decoded's release of their English patch of Digimon Story Lost Evolution. The, uh, one of three, pretty much just one of two, Japanese-only Digimon uh, Nintendo DS games that just never got released here for... I'm not quite sure. I don't know why they weren't released here, but they just ne never ended up doing that. They released Digimon World DS and Dusk and Dawn, but never went on to do this one, which is kind of sad, since I've heard this is, like, the best out of them. This is kind of, like the coolest one. Now, I'm here to give you some uh, words that aren't as nice, though I do appreciate them for uh, doing this patch and all the work they've done. A problem that happened is that... So, they give you the patch, and you can use your ROM dumps or wherever else, and if you apply it to a ROM, uh, even if it's like... From somewhere else, not going to say about where it's from, it reapplies the uh, anti-piracy on the game, so it won't run on at least my R4. It'll run on like a Twilight menu for like a 3DS, but I don't have a 3DS capture card. I have a DS capture card, so what you're seeing right now is not the uh, direct capture from my DS like I'd like it to be. This is off Melon DS again, so... I have no clue what's causing that, I just think they forgot to unapply the anti-piracy patch, so therefore it just keeps on saying load error code negative 4. So I really wish I could have brought this to you on an actual DS, but for now, until any kind of like fix is implemented, we're stuck with this. Which is fine, it's running at 60 FPS right now and is showing no signs of dropping unless something happens, so. As far as I know, there's no real repercussions, but if there is a change in, like, platform, like, oh, now we can play it on the DS, I'll tell you about it. But for now, all that I know is that it just don't work. So, let's not put any more downers on this stuff. Let's just get right into this. I've been waiting quite some time for this. Alright, let's see. New game. New game. Numlock. New game. Attention, starting a new game will reset the Wi-Fi settings. Don't that suck. Anyway, I can either be a boy or a girl. And I hate men. I'm... My, my sister taught, taught, me the, taught, taught me the word for the reverse of a misogynist, like a misandrinist or whatever. I'm misandrinist. I'm Andromon. Anyway, yeah, I, we have uh, played the other games in the series on this channel before, but the World DS playthrough was quite some time ago, and the World Dusk one is also quite some time ago, so if you want to see how I did on those games, you can watch that, but if you're showing up here for the first time, uh, I'm Frozen Breeze, I'm stupid, and uh, I do a lot of dumb things in these games, because I'm bad at them. Anyway, uh, just a little introduction to me, I guess. Alright, let's just pick girl. She's much better designed. She's like, like, uh, goggles, but her goggles are a part of her hair, which is weird. Anyway, there's a little bit of a weird thing with, uh, the names. So it says Kizuna for a name, but you see how it deletes two at a time when you get rid of them? It seems that, like... From what I read from the readme, read me, you can't do more than five letters for your name. So I'm just going to choose the name that I chose for, like, my last one. So, Jazz it is again. Jazz has returned. So you're a girl. Is your name Jazz? I just told you it, so. Also, if my mic just seems weird, I'm using my room mic to record me sitting on my laptop playing this. So... I'm not even playing this on my actual setup. Alright. I guess there's another problem I encountered with Lost Evolution, but I can talk about it later. Oh. 
Ooh, what was that? Jazz is very confused. Man, there's a lot of humans, isn't there? Oh, should I use voices? I don't. I don't think so. I think that would be a little bit too cringe. Anyway, oh, jazz, perfect timing. I don't have timing. I don't know how to play the kazoo. Did you see that? You you totally saw it, right? Right? Something happened. A kaboom from above that hill. And my dumbass is just like, yep, yep. <laughs> see, I told you I wasn't lying to Kuto. Takuto. It's like Takato, but the, the dumber version. Well, knowing you, Hiroyuki, man, you know, I'm fine with them using the Japanese names. It's just going to be weird to be saying them. Uh, then again, I have been saying, like, Japanese names for, like, so long. I kind of got used to it, but you never truly do. Of course I wouldn't believe it. But since Jazz saw it, too, I wonder. I guess it means... I guess it must be true. But couldn't it just have been fragments from the fireworks? I don't think fragments from a firework look like a weird turkey baster in the sky. <laughs> like I said, it, it's not. Come on, you gotta believe me, Takuto. Such a strange name. Fireworks normally start with a kaboom, with a boom, and end with a bang. What I saw was a rounder, longer, and ended up with a whoosh. He can hear it from all the way down here? Alright. I didn't understand a single word of what you just said. <laughs> you and your wild imagination, Har Hiro Yuki. Hey, wait, he's gone? He hey, wait a minute. Hiro Yuki. So we've got the dumb and dumber. <laughs> we got dumb and dumber. Big bro, where are you going? Yui, just stay here with Asuka. I don't want you to get lost. You're her brother? I guess? Hey now, aren't you the one who's always getting lost? I honestly feel bad for Yui, having such a dumb brother. <laughs> he got fucking exposed and ran away. That's, that's, that's Twitter in a nutshell. <laughs> Man, topical. <sighs> I'm always so topical, ain't I? Big bro, you shouldn't go by yourself. <laughs> You're directionally challenged. And maybe you might be a little bit challenged in other ways. Where'd Hiroyuki go? He went off somewhere. He, what's he so worked up about, anyway? Apparently, something fell just beyond the hill, according to him. Something fell? I do remember him tripping and falling at, the, at that hill before, but... That always happens to my big brother when he gets excited. He falls on the ground. I don't... You know, you might want to check his cerebellum. <laughs> he always fucking dies when he gets excited. Falling off a cliff? <laughs> Getting stuck in a ditch. I think the falling off the cliff thing is the more, uh, you know, frightening one. And I'll tell you, I've seen this opening so many times, but when you see it only in Japanese, you have no clue what's going on. So now I'm finally knowing what the hell they've been talking about. And the reason I keep on seeing the beginning of this scene is because throughout the last few months, I've been testing it on my, like, R4s and stuff. And the Japanese version works 100%. The only problem is it can't save... So, I have no clue why that's happening, but there's a little bit more of a trouble I've been through. Knocking over Jizzo statues. <laughs> Getting stuck in trees. Well, we don't want to talk about Jizzo statues. It's probably not meant to be said like that. We don't talk about the Jizzo statues. Something really, something bad's really going to happen to him one day. Wow, your brother's going to fucking die. He really has nothing... He has nothing... He really has been nothing but trouble, hasn't he? Okay, fine. There are a million things I'd rather do right now, like... I don't know. Stare at the unending fireworks and listen to the unending noise of them. <laughs> he just... You know, when you say sigh, you sound a lot like somebody I know. <laughs> I guess we should go check on him. Man, everybody's gotta be running... Jazz is just like, I just don't give a shit. <laughs> Maybe she doesn't even like these people. Hey! Also, it's nice that it's been sticking to 60 FPS and I haven't had to worry about it at all. Usually you don't see shit like that. Hiroyuki! Big bro, where are you? Scooby-Doo, where are you? 
Also, I guess you could call this the uh, the New Year's Day special. I really didn't do a New Year's Eve special, but I guess you get a uh, you get a strange. Well, it's kind of a it's kind of an important video, at least for the uh, first video of the year. Good old 2023. I wonder what it's going to be like because it's literally New Year's Eve. I'm recording this. Doesn't doesn't look like Hiro Yuki's around here, does it? I guess he really did go over that hill. Oh no. Hey, Yui, wait for me. Small children are running away? That seems about normal in Digimon World. W wow, it's pitch black out there. That Hiro Yuki really is a troublemaker. Man, our friend is such a shithead, we hate him. Man, this effect really doesn't make much sense when, uh, you know, the screens are split. Seems like uh, you should see the tree above the tree, but and that's just one of the things you get when you record a DS. Whoa! Oh god, look, it's the turkey baster, and it's got a spaceship on it. B big bro, be careful, it could be dangerous. We don't trust turkey basters here in human world. Hey, Hiroyuki, wh what on earth is that? You never seen a turkey baster before? <laughs> Nothing personnel, turkey baster. <laughs> what do you mean? It's clearly a fallen star. Isn't that right, Jazz? Uh, pfft, I, you know, I think I'm dumb enough just to say, yeah, no way. That's pretty, I'm pretty certain it's anything but that. How can you be so excited in a situation like this anyway? What do you mean? Relax, Asuka. Just think of the possibilities, the endless ones. You're the last person I want to hear that from. Dinosaur, 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 what? You ever just, you know, stared at a fallen turkey baster and scream, dinosaur, dinosaur? Sound like you're, uh, well, you know, I'm not gonna say. <laughs> what are you going on about? Have you finally lost your mind? No, I think he's making a wish right now. My brother's been completely obsessed with dinosaurs recently. You know, ever since he saw those weird pictures on the internet, I think he's gone, he's gone a little bit, you know, not all there. <laughs> we don't talk about those pictures, Yui. We don't talk about them. I see. So that's why he's so excited about this whole thing. Falling into bushes and ditches, now he's falling for dinosaurs. <laughs> it just reminds me of uh, Super Mario World, the TV show. You ever seen that with Yoshi? And Fireballs Yum! And Mama Luigi and... Yeah. <laughs> It's a stone, Luigi. You didn't make it. I chiseled it. <laughs> well, I guess we could probably find a fossil or two around here. What? Okay. Put a real-life, living, breathing dinosaur would be amazing. T-Rex, T-Rex, T-Rex. Allosaurus, Allosaurus, Allosaurus. It's like... Okay, so if I'm like, you know... An insane Sonic fan. Do I go on Twitter and spam Sonic, 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 Sonic? Actually, now that I think about it, that's actually probably true. <laughs> that's the sad part. Hey, if your wish really does come true, wouldn't you just end up becoming a snack for those dinosaurs? Everybody laughs at him. You can't laugh at a man's dreams. Andrew Tate told me that. But then again, Andrew Tate is also in jail currently. So, actually, I don't know if he's in jail. I think he was arrested and then let go because you can't be held on arrest. But, like, that doesn't mean he's not being investigated. It's just hilarious that he's, uh, you know, a fucking idiot. <laughs> Plus, doesn't it look, look, look more like a st spaceship than a star? Don't ruin the man's dreams. Oh, that'd be amazing, too. Awesome. Aliens. Aliens. Come on out, aliens. It's the alien bush. Hold on. What was that? I'm pretty sure I heard a noise from those bushes over there. Well, it's it's them. It's the dinosaurs. Whoa! It's a dinosaur? You're kidding me. Look, it's got fangs and claws. That means it must be a carnivore. Whoa, this is incredible. Wishing on a star really does work. Or wishing on a spaceship. And in my world, wishing on a turkey baster summons dinosaurs, so. You know. 
That's part of the lore now. That's just what you're stuck with. The only thing that's incredible is how stupid you are. You know, you, are you going to let her treat you like that? <laughs> then again, he is an idiot wearing a beanie, so... Can't really trust anybody wearing a beanie. They look stupid wearing it. Well, even I wore a beanie when I was, like, in 8th grade, but then I was like, oh wait, no, this looks horrible. <laughs> why, why did you even wish for something like this? It's going to eat us all for sure if we go near it. Nah, I think he's nice. He's got... Claws. <laughs> hey. <laughs> but wait a minute. Doesn't it look a bit... Squishy? For a dinosaur? The squishy dinosaur. It's kind of cute. Wait, Yui, be careful. It might bite. Nice to meet ya. I'm... A My name's Agumon. And everybody's like, what the fuck? It talks? And I'm like, mm-mm-mm. Um... Have you seen a tamer anywhere around here? Have I have to get over the, the shock of a talking dinosaur first. Let alone one that's asking us questions. Maybe you could explain to us what a, exactly a tamer is? They're humans who rage, uh, ra rage. <laughs> they raise us Digimon. According to this Digivice, a tamer should be around here. What, what will you do when you find a tamer? I'll ask him to raise me. <laughs> it's like a kid wandering around looking for, a, for like, a, like a parent. And just like, can you raise me? It's like, all right then. <laughs> Without a tamer, we Digimon can't grow strong or big. Unless it takes like five million years for us to do that. Which takes a long time. <laughs> That's why I'm here, looking for a tamer who can raise me. You know, I've got so many raised discs that I think you would live forever, boy. Oh, the raised disc. The world's most destructive item. At least World Wars. Doesn't that sound similar to, to looking for a mother? For such a cute little guy, you sure are clever. I don't know if that's clever or dumb. He's like, oh. Oh no. The turkey baster. Whoa. Did that thing just open up? Doesn't that mean something's going to come out? Oh, I get it now. That must be the tamer you were talking about earlier, right? The one, the ones in there are tamers, yes. But those people are bad guys. Man, I love bad guys. I love Freddie Mercury. What are you talking about, dinosaur? <laughs> His name is now Dinosaur. I'm not looking for someone who's like that. Uh, how about we leave the details for later? At this rate, we'll be spotted. Everybody needs to hide. Oh no, it's a guy with a helmet. Then we should probably run, shouldn't we? <laughs> Give it up, dose. Just leave the ship be. If it's not gonna work, then there's no point fussing over it. Just hurry up and detach the escape pod. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, just wait a minute, Uno. Okay, so we're playing Uno and Dose, which is also a card game, I guess. I can't detach it immediately. After that explosion, the data's gotten all messed up, it seems. Good yada yada does it. <laughs> but the ship's hatch is still opening, isn't it? I wonder why. And if I know, just hurry up and do what you need. If we continue wasting time here, we won't be able to get back. Trace. 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 Who's Trace? Do you hear me? What are you doing dawdling around in there? If you don't hurry up and get out here, you'll be left behind along with that Digimon. Left behind? They're planning to leave a Digimon here in this world? Looks like Trace isn't going to come out. What a pain. Putting off such a simple job. Hey, Dose, you go drop off that Digimon instead. Just throw it out if you want. It doesn't matter. Despite saying it's a simple job, why don't you want to do it? You don't want to do it, do you? All right, then. I'll go take a look while the pod is detaching. <laughs> oh, hi. Whoa. What is that? Could it be an alien? I, I knew it. I knew all along that, that thing was a spaceship. I said it was a turkey baster. You know, we could have used that thing to go back in time to the first Thanksgiving to take turkey off the menu. <laughs> I want to die. D didn't I say that from the start? 
We gotta get out of here. Come on, Jazz. You too, Agumon. Nah, I'm too dumb. Hey, are we really going to just leave it here? Haven't, haven't we gone over this already? There ain't no point in whining over it now. <laughs> I just make him sound like he's, I don't know, a southerner. So, evil. <laughs> hmm. Well, I guess it's fine. This place seems to be fair, a fairly good location. Dark, humid, and it looks quite lively, too. Let's get going. <laughs> just Numamon. Does Numamon just only speak in Nooms? Noom. Noom. I want to go back with you. Don't leave me here, Noom. You promised we'd always be together, Noom. Hey, Jazz, I beg of you. That Digimon needs our help. So could you become my tamer? Oh, I'm just like, okay with it. I didn't even get a choice. At least the game's not allowing me to say no, and then I'm never able to say no. <laughs> Stop. You can't do this, bandits. Goddamn bandits. Has this Digimon been following us the whole time? Why would you abandon your Digimon? Aren't you guys friends? If you leave a Digimon here, it'll cause a lot of trouble. Stay out of this. I don't take orders from brats. And I hate those toys. I also hate that weird PS2 game that they that is about them. Don't ever talk about that game. I'm never going to even give you the fucking title. You got a problem with this? Well, come at me and see what happens. Chaz, are you ready to go? So that's that one's got a tamer now. No wonder it's suddenly so brave. Fine then. If you by some miracle manage to beat us, we'll leave here without a fuss. Hey Jazz, I don't have anyone in this world I can call a friend. No one to rely on, nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Spite that, are you willing to fight together with me? I won't fight. Fuck you, even though there's I don't think there's any way just to say no. Alright, <laughs> will you become Agumon's tamer and fight by its side? I have no choice. <laughs> don't worry, Jazz. With you by my side, everything will be fine. I chose you as my cham my chamer. Yes, my chamer. My tamer for a reason, after all. Ooh, that's a pretty cool, like, animation. Shows just, like, a bunch of ones and zeros going into a battle. But that makes sense for Digimon. Anyway, so if you've seen my playthroughs of DS and Dusk, or if you just played the games in general, you'll notice this doesn't look like their battle system. So instead of having a, uh, you know, like just a menu, they've got these like squares and stuff, which is actually a little bit cooler looking since the other two just had menus. Uh, another game that uses this system is, well, they don't use it all the way, but they use a different system than what the other two games did was Super Cross Wars, which I also wish was translated, but uh, Operation Decoded has said they're not going to do that game. But there is, like, another person who's translating it into Spanish, so... A little bit easier to read for an idiot like me, but that probably won't come out for millions of years. So, anyway, you can pretty much just attack shit. So, Petite Breath shoots a fireball of flames at the enemy. They even describe what it's supposed to do. Alright, Numamon, go fuck yourself. Wow. I did 36 damage. Hydro water. You can tell that the, uh... You can also just press, like, the middle thing after you press the command. And it'll just save that command to attack again. But yeah, the, uh... The text font is a little bit weird since it's more <laughs> custom. But I don't hate it. Looks nicer than the fonts from the other two games, in my opinion. Just because the fonts look a little bit too busy in Dusk and DS. Alright. You'll remember this screen, if you've played those games. So much nostalgia coming back to a game that... Because it's kind of funny. It's like, it's a sequel to a game that I played when I was a kid. But I never got to play because I it never came out here. So it's like playing a lost sequel, in a way. Interesting. Oh, he got a new skill. Butt sex. I don't know. <laughs> We did it! I knew you'd be you'd make an amazing tamer, Jay Jays. That's a different person. That's not me. That's my overlord. We're gonna talk about the overlord. <laughs> Nobody's gonna get that joke. Unbelievable. I think we'd be beaten by some kid. How lame. What a fine mess we've gotten ourselves into. This is why I hate the real world. Just runs home. 
Are you okay, Jazz? We came back to rescue you, because we're a bunch of little bitches. How do you like that, aliens? And <laughs> can't you see you're no match for our incredible strength? You promised you'd leave if we won, didn't you? Take Numamon with you and go back to the digital world. Ugh, acting all tough just because you got lucky. You were, you were the one speaking so highly of yourself earlier. Regardless of what you say, a loss is a loss. Don't go complaining about it after the fact. <laughs> Whatever. Numamon, how long do you plan on standing around? We're leaving. <laughs> so as long as I'm here on this planet, there will be no there's no way I'll allow you aliens to have your way. You didn't do shit. Hmm. So, this is what a monster from space looks like. I didn't think he would look so pathetic. <laughs> you know, the He's quite the space monster, isn't he? I'm glad you're safe, Jazz. You're not hurt, are you, Agumon? I'm sorry for running away and leaving you two behind. Hey, Jazz. Didn't you and Agumon manage to defeat the weird green monster? Yes. That creature is the same as me, a Digimon named Numamon. It's always been partners with those bandits in the digital world. So I was wondering why they suddenly tried to abandon it. This, is this digital world the planet that you came from? It's not a planet, but a whole different world. A different world? Brother, what are you doing? We don't talk about Har why Haruyuki is sexually uh, harassing a Numamon. We just ignore that part. Along with all the dinosaur art he saw online. <laughs> so this, this guy's the same creature as Agumon? Is it dangerous to touch? It's still moving around. Don't worry. If anything happens, I'll protect you, even though I suck! <laughs> Very strange animation here. Yui, Takuto! Takuto, yes, I got that right. Hiroyuki! Everyone's going to be taken to the digital world. Jazz, we have to, we gotta get into the digi ship. Hurry! I don't want a digi ship, man. But, but now we get to just go into a spaceship, and then we all fuck off. <laughs> Why was there a spaceship on top of a turkey baster? I don't know. Why'd you make your spaceship a turkey baster? I don't know. <laughs> huh? Where. Am I? Um, if I remember correctly, Yui and the others were taken onto that strange ship. And then... What happened after that? This place is giving me the creeps. It's pitch black, humid, and it stinks, too. Eek! S something slimy just touched me. What is this small, cold, jiggly stuff? There's more than one? Hey, Yui, Takuto, Haruyuki, is anyone there? Jazz? Nah. What was that noise just now? What? Just what's going on? Hey, come on! Anyone, say something! Emergency, emergency, brace for impact. Cargo... Ejection countdown is about to commence. Emergency, emergency, brace for impact. What? Jazz? Hey, Jazz. It's no use. I don't hear any trace of a heartbeat. That's not where the heart is. Don't go saying something like that. Oh, you're awake? They thought my heartbeat was in my ass and, well... They might have been right, but not in the same way. <laughs> oh boy, gotta drink something. Gotta keep your strength up, man, as Big Smoke always taught me. Jazz, are you alright? This is the world us Digimon live in. It's called the Digital World. This island is called Northern North Bridge on the Motherboard Continent. Let's see. Do you remember being on the Digi on the uh, Bandit's Digi ship? I heard something about an emergency, but... Was that ship under attack by someone? Huh, I don't think it was attacked. I think that somebody must have pressed the emergency exit button. 
someone. Eh. <laughs> well, I mean, the button was... It was... Just so tempting. It was asking to be pressed. How did you see anything in there? It was pitch black. R really, it was impossible just to ignore it. Seeing a button, anybody would be tempted to press it, right? Wouldn't you? You would. You totally would. Right? <laughs> of course you'd be the guilty one. What's going on in that brain of yours? Going and doing something crazy like that. Think before you act. Well, it's just... I guess I was just following my heart? I see. So that's how it is. Then I'll just follow mine too. I'll just act. True to my own feelings. Hey, wait a minute. Asuka, why the change in tone? I'm sorry, I understand now, so please cut it out. <laughs> when you say you'll follow your heart, you're totally thinking about punching me, aren't you? <laughs> hey, guys? There's something I really need to tell you. What is it? I see, I get it. Agumon is also the type who sees a button and needs to press it. <laughs> Be quiet. Yes, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. First, as you know, we don't have our own digi-ship. Which means it'll be a while before you'll be able to return to your world. Huh? Then how'd you come to our world, Agumon? I hitched a ride on the Bandit's digi-ship. But don't worry, we'll, we'll, all, we'll be okay. If we just go to where my friends are, then we can find our own digi-ship of our own. Our own digi-ship of our own. That's just me not being able to speak correctly. I see. And let's hurry and go meet up with your friends. Yeah, but before that, just listen to me for a second, okay? There's a place at, ahead of here known as a Digibase. As THE Digibase. That's where my friends live, and that's where we need to go. But before that, there's, there are many wild Digimon in this area. If you get too close to them, they won't hesitate to attack you. R really? But it'll be okay. I'll do my best to protect you guys. On top of that, Jazz is a great tamer. That reminds me. Jazz, I forgot to give this to you earlier. It's a symbol of you becoming a tamer. It's called a Digivice. Yay, I got the data link or whatever for the Digiburst. Obtain the key item, Digivice. When you want to use it, just either press Start or the X button. Once the Digivice starts up, you'll see the menu screen. There's one more thing I'd like to ask of you, Jazz. When a tamer acknowledges a Digimon as their partner, the tamer can give that Digimon a nickname. So, I'd like it if you could give me a nickname, too. Well, there's only one name I can ever name an Agumon. Let's name him after uh, the liar himself. Will there even be enough room to put his name in? I think Digimon names are allowed to be eight characters. But player names have to be five. Either way, that's five letters anyway, so I don't think it would matter. All right. The chosen nickname... You have chosen the nickname Tyler. Is that okay? Yep. The only thing I could ever name him. My name is Tyler? <laughs> I like it. Thank you, Jazz. I don't think he would. He would stop speaking. You would become him. Wait a minute. I feel like we've forgotten something important. Oh, about that. I didn't mention it earlier, but... Those little ones that you were with earlier... That's it. We're Yui and Takuto. We must have gotten separated during the ejection. Somehow we all survived a fall from whoever knows how far the height was. What? It'll be alright. We can ask around at the Digibase. My friends can help come up with a way to find them. But the place is dangerous, so we need to hurry. This place is dangerous, so we need to hurry to the Digibase. Right away. Okay? Alright. We're at the Heritage Cape. What is... I mean, we can't really mess around all that much. We've pretty much made it to the time that we need to be at, so... This is going to be... I don't know how long this game is. I've never played this game. I've only ever played through a little bit of it in complete, utter Japanese. So I have no clue what the story was. No clue what's going to happen. So I'm pretty excited. So I hope you'll tune in for more of these episodes. And if you're new to the channel, uh, I've got so many more Digimon... So much more Digimon shit that I think you'll be, uh, you know... You'll be a little bit topped up. So I'll see you guys next time.